Hi everyone. This video will show you how to use Slantech RP LiDAR with ROSE. This tutorial is divided into four parts. Firstly, how to install ROSE. Secondly, how to download and compile RP LiDAR ROSE package. Thirdly, how to connect to RP LiDAR. And finally, how to run RP LiDAR ROSE package. The system we're using would be Ubuntu 20.04. This is a freshly installed virtual machine on my PC with Oracle VirtualBox, but you can choose any virtual machine you like. There's no software installed on this VM yet. Now I'll show you step-by-step -step on how to install ROS. First, let's open a terminal and go to ROS official website. Then we can follow the instructions to install the ROS Noetic version package. Following the steps. First, we need to set up outsource.list. Just copy this code and key in the password. And then set up our keys. But we need to install curl first. Input Y here. Now we can get our key. Now we can run the installation. First, make sure our Debian package is up to date. When installing, make sure you choose Desktop Full Install. Input Y here. It might take a while to download all the packages, so I'll skip this part in this video. After all the packages are downloaded, the system will automatically start unpacking. Now we have successfully installed ROSE. We can proceed to the download of our PLIDAR ROSE package. We go to RP LiDAR's official repository on GitHub. But before we clone this repository, we need to install Git. Key in the password. Input Y here. Now we can start cloning the repository. Let's open a new terminal. Always remember to source the environment setup files when you open a new terminal. Let's first create a workspace. Then we use git clone to download the package. After the repository is cloned, 
we use cat can make to compile the package. We can check if the package is compiled properly. Congratulations! You have successfully compiled the package. Now we can try it on an actual RP LiDAR. Let's do this in a new terminal. Remember each time you want to use ROSE in a bash terminal, you need to source the environment setup script first. Then enable the environmental variables. Now we can plug our RP LiDAR into the computer's USB port and make sure the USB port is enabled on your virtual machine. Here the port with LiDAR will be displayed as Silicon Lab CP2102N. We can run dmessage and see the kernel message. It shows that the LiDAR is already in the virtual machine, and the port is TTYUSB0, which is the same as the default port number we have set in the package. Now we modify the permission of the port to make it readable for the third-party user. Now we can run the RP LiDAR ROSE package. The LiDAR I use is S2, so we ROS launch RP LiDAR ROS view RP LiDAR ROS S2 launch. Now we can see the LiDAR scan result as point cloud. We can move the LiDAR around and rotate the LiDAR. We can see the point cloud is changing accordingly. Now the installation and use of RP LiDAR ROSE package is finished. Thanks for watching.